Hello, everyone. Good to see you. You can't and see them. You can't see them. I can't actually see you, but I can feel you. Feel your presence is probably the best way to put it. Mm. Uh, anyway, welcome to the highlights of round 17 of the Gallagher Premiership season. And having missed our weekly fix of this stuff for so long, we've now had three roundups in seven days. Five points in the bag, second place in the Gallagher Premiership in the bag, six tries scored, and a callow Bristol Bears team put to the sword. What's Eddie's karaoke song? And a frustrating end to ultimately a frustrating afternoon for the travelling Saints. They will head home empty-handed. However, Harlequins, in a match that they had to win, really, to keep their season ticking along, has been won. Nathan Earl and Scott Baldwin with the first half tries, and then Rob Shaw and Ashton as they pulled away at the beginning of the second half. Final score, Harlequins 30, Northampton 70. It's been an accomplished, a professional and comprehensive performance from Exeter Chiefs. And you have to go back 17 years for the last time a second row hat-trick was scored in the Premiership. Simon Shaw for Wasps in March 2003. Of course, another hat-trick was scored by Sam Simmons as well. It's been an absolute romp as far as the Exeter Chiefs are concerned. And they had it all their own way in the opening half. They really won it in that opening 40 minutes, that blistering spell featuring four tries from Molly Thorley. Leicester coming storming back with their replacements, making big, big differences. The likes of Youngs and Ford and Taufua making a decent game of this, but in the end, it's Gloucester's win, Gloucester's bonus point win, and they've beaten Leicester here at King's Home by 46 points to 30. So that's three in a row for the European champions, who with Wasps, Sale and Exeter all to come in the next fortnight, will play a key role in deciding which four clubs fight it out in the semi-final. Saracens may be championship bound, but they're leaving the top flight with a bang rather than a whimper. Full time at the stoop, it's London Irish 12, Saracens 40. In charge today, Wayne Barnes and uh, a significant appointment as one of the assistant referees as well, Christoph Ridley, alongside Sarah Cox, continuing to blaze an important trail. First woman to be part of the on-field officiating team in the Premiership, another significant landmark, already a history maker as a referee in the Premiership Cup, now involved as an assistant in the Premiership itself. Yeah. And that will mark a terrific win for Lee Blackett's man, incredible resolve, Great character from 13 nil down and players strewn all over the field, leaving the pitch through injury. No fewer than four players injured in the first half, but they've beaten Bath and Bath unbeaten to this point. 27 points to 23. So the whopping 14 point lead at the top, Exeter are all but certainties to be at the playoff party, but who'll be joining them is far from certain. All the clubs down to Gloucester in eight to varying degrees will feel they're in with a shout of making it. Remember, it looks like a top eight finish will ensure qualification for next season's Champions Cup. Five rounds to go and plenty to play for.